So you want to write more research papers, you want to be more productive with your research and publish them in higher impact journals to become an authority in your field, you know, maybe to move up um, the academic career ladder, you know, or really make a contribution to your field. But you find yourself, you know, really locked up in all these other tasks, you know, um, maybe giving classes, other work responsibilities, and, you know, checking students' work and all sorts of stuff that you've got to do that is just like pulling you away from doing what you're supposed to do, which is writing your research papers. So that's why in this video, I want to talk about a super important productivity hack that I think will really, really help you to maximize your research output without really working more. Um, actually probably while working less. So let's see what, it's, what it is. If you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowak and I run Academic English Now, where I help researchers write research papers for high impact journals. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about one of the most important productivity hacks that really are out there and that has really helped me as well to, you know, to finish my PhD in three years um, with several published papers and has helped me as well to write two or three research papers each year, even though I don't work as um, at a research job really, you know. Um, and I think this hack will also immensely help you. So what is it? The hack really is to plan things. Um, and it sounds simple, but very few people actually do this, you know, and it all starts with having a clear goal in mind, you know, and by that you, I mean a really a goal with a very clear outcome and a clear time frame that is measurable, you know, so like a goal such as, oh, I'll write more papers this year is not really a goal that you can achieve, right? But a goal like I will write five papers by the end of 2022 is a very specific goal that we can measure and we can work towards. Now, once you have that goal, you've got to plan um, things, right? And, and chunk your time, right? So, so how do you do that? Well, if you want to write, let's say, four papers this year, right? So we can divide the year into quarters and each quarter will have three months. So you basically have approximately three months to write one paper, right? Um, now, what do you need to do to write one paper? Well, it depends what stage you are, but if we go from the very beginning, you need to find, you know, a solid research gap and a research question, right? And then, you know, you need to conduct your research, you need to analyze the data, and you need to write it all up, right? So these are the sort of immediate, intermediate goals that you need to you know, you need to achieve in order to achieve your goal of writing one paper this quarter, right? Um, how, how can you achieve those intermediate goals? Well, you know, there's certain actions that you need to take, right? So, for example, in order to identify the research gap, um, you need to read the literature on this topic. And if you're not sure how to identify the research gap, there's another video that I've done and of course the link here as well, um, where you can find out more about the research gap, right? So basically, you know, we start with a goal and a timeline, and then we divide that goal into intermediate goals, and then those intermediate goals, we divide them into, you know, into actions that we need to take. What do we do next? Well, next we put it all on our schedule, right? And basically, you know, you wanna block out times on your schedule where you will focus on a certain activity that leads towards your goal, right? And when you block something, that's sacred. Like it's, it's blocked and you don't touch it, right? You just open your schedule the day we work, you, you know, on the day and you do this. You, you don't do other things like, I don't know, checking your email or I don't know, or whatever else is vying for your attention. And that's perhaps the most difficult step right and um, that many people fail at. but you really have to you know have to be very clinical about it and you have to kind of eliminate all other things or put them in other blocks of time so 
email is a very frequent distraction, especially if you're working full time, for example, as a, as a researcher, email can be incredibly distracting. But you know, the bottom line is you're not getting paid to answer people's emails. You're getting paid to produce research. And it's the same if you're a PhD student. Nobody, you know, um, pays your um, PhD stipend for you to answer emails. You're, ultimately, you're judged based on on your academic output, right? So, you know, of course, you have to answer emails, otherwise people will get pissed off, but you don't have to answer them immediately. Like, just schedule a, a block of time. And really, you know, in most jobs, if you answer emails, like, every second day is absolutely fine. Like, it's not like the building is going to collapse and people will die if you don't answer them. Like, if you feel uncomfortable with that, then maybe schedule like 20 minutes at the end of each day to do that. And that's it. And then everything else is scheduled into blocks for writing, you know? If you have other responsibilities, for example, you've got to teach classes, you know, schedule them and try to, you know, schedule your overall time in such a way that you've got blocks of time and then focus and then just do that one thing that you've put in your schedule. And it sounds very simple, but you won't believe how, you know, how productive you will become. I mean, you know, the, the, the difference in productivity where you set a clear goal and then intermediate goals and then you write down the actions you need to take and you put them on your schedule and you actually stick to that schedule I mean, the difference in productivity is not even funny. Like, I mean, you will, you know, all the other people will still be in the starting blocks and you will have already been at the finish line, I, I promise you. So that's a really important productivity hack, planning and then sticking to your schedule. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, then definitely hit the subscribe, the like button so you don't miss future videos. And, you know, if you would want to also maximize your research output, write research papers for higher impact journals, then let's definitely talk. I've scheduled some time in my agenda to talk to you this week. And if you want to, you can book a free one-to-one -one strategy session. The link is somewhere below or above this video. And we're going to get together one-to-one, -to -one, identify your specific challenges and your goals, and also prepare a personalized strategy. Um, for you. So if you want to publish more research papers then definitely apply for that strategy session.